counting in tenths. I have chopped each of these circles into ten equal pieces or tenths. Let's count the tenths in the first circle. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. And ten tenths is the same as one because now we have all the pieces. We have one whole. If we carry on counting, 11 tenths, which is the same as one and one tenth, 12 tenths is the same as one and two tenths, 13 tenths is the same as one and three tenths, and so on. All the way to 20 tenths, which is the same as one and 10 tenths. And both of these are the same as two holds, or just two. When we have a fraction like three tenths, where the numerator, the top number, is smaller than the denominator, the bottom number, we call it a proper fraction. One and four tenths is a mixed number, because it's a whole number and a fraction. And it's the same as saying 14 tenths. And 14 tenths is an improper fraction because the numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator, the bottom number. Let's count in fractions. 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, and we keep going. Up to 10 tenths, which is the same as 1. And then we move into mixed numbers. 1 and 1 tenth, 1 and 2 tenths, 1 and 3 tenths and keep going until we get to 2 or 1 and 10 tenths. Let's come backwards. 2, 1 and 9 tenths, 1 and 8 tenths. Keep going. Do we get to 1? Then 9 tenths, 8 tenths, keep going. And let's see this on a number line, but this time we'll use proper fractions and improper fractions. Starting at zero. Zero tenths. One tenth. Two tenths. Three tenths. Four tenths. And we keep going. Past one. Eleven tenths. Keep going. Up to two. And we come backwards. 20 tenths, 19 tenths, 18 tenths, 17 tenths, and keep going. Past one. And what about decimal tenths? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and so on. 0 0.9, 1, then 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4. Keep going with the same pattern. 1.9, 2, coming backwards. 2, 1.9, 1.8, 1.7. Keep going. Past 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and keep going. And on a number line, watch the decimal tenths count up and down on this number line. back. Try dividing quantities by 10 next. 